that I've become friends with over the years are people that I met through Bill. So that's been a nice connection throughout the preservation community and also the art community. Um, and uh, it's also, it's just a great event to, to, for everyone to congregate from all different walks of life that, that maybe have nothing to do with art or preservation, but they appreciate it on some level. And, uh, and for years we just, we just did, it started out as vacancy. So we, had, we only did vacant buildings in Albany and then it became built and we only did Albany buildings. So it was, there was this core community of people that just really love and care about, about the architecture of Albany. I mean, if you think about it for a, such a small state capital, it's, a, it's an extremely monumental city. The resource mm -hmm. that, that we have uh, you know, we, it's, it's sad because we, we have such, a, such riches as far as the buildings here that, that we may not always care or pay attention that we lose, we're losing buildings, historic buildings every day here. Uh, we may be fortunate in that we have all these wonderful townhouse districts, which a lot of similar sized cities don't have anymore. Uh, they're gone. Um, and we've got multiple ones, but some of them we're losing. Some of those neighborhoods we're losing. We've been built every year since it started. Um, there's a few other artists that have been around that long, but um, uh, it's, it's an event I really care a lot about. It's like a, it's one of the centerpieces of the year, um, and um, it's a it's a special uh, time and something that I always plan for, the 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 work that I create for it, and and I've encouraged other artists to join and. And so it's, um, it's become a real touchstone. So it was kind of a natural extension to become more involved with Historic Albany Foundation beyond BUILT, but also to be more involved in the planning of BUILT. Oh my gosh. Um, that's, uh, that's a good question. <laughs> you stumped me on that, Pam. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I've done multiple paintings. I know it's everybody's favorite, but I've done multiple paintings of the Empire State Building. I'm just, I've always been fascinated with the presence of that building in Midtown, especially before a lot of the other high rises started to be built in the, in the Herald Square 30s, below the theater district. Um, back in the 80s and 90s, that was an extremely imposing building. Um, and um, to capture it from different angles with other smaller buildings in the foreground was always it just endless fascination. And I'm also, I'm also obsessed with old movie houses. So I love painting theaters and uh, all over the country, but I'm mainly in this part of the country. And uh, so, yeah, Theater Marquee, I love that.